Right, you spending all day watching YouTube video means that you haven't got a job. But listen, don't worry. I'm going to give you Grade A's guide to getting a job. Right, so before you even get an interview, the first thing you have to do is find a job to apply for. Realistically, what's the only thing you give a sh** about? Right, it's the money. It's how much you're going to be making. So given that, why do so many jobs right S? Give me your number, mate. Under the salary part, it'll say negotiable and competitive. Just tell me the actual salary. Right, another thing that's very important is the manner with which you speak. Now, it's not a problem for someone like me. I'm very well spoken, but you lot need to practice this. Now, I understand that you have to be professional and whatnot. You can't go in there saying, all right, there, right, there is your job, mate. But I could come into an interview and I introduce myself by saying, all right, there, mate. And I'd lose the job. If you judge someone negatively on them saying the words, all right, there, mate, you need to stop taking yourself so seriously. You better wear a suit. Regardless, even if the job is something like a PE teacher or a truck driver where you never have to wear a suit, you better wear a suit. You better pay very close attention to the clothes you put on. Right, but some of the biggest hurdles that you get in the interview are some of the stupid questions you get asked, right? I'm going to sort you out. Here are some of the questions. Alright, so why do you want this job? Because money, you idiot. Because having this job would be slightly better than being homeless. Alright, I'd rather not be sat living underneath the bridge, addicted to crap. That's why. Right, so where do you see yourself in five years' time? Hopefully, not still in this hole. Hopefully, I've won the lottery and I'm doing a bit better for myself. So tell me about a weakness of yours. Oh my god, where to start? I'm late all the time, I'm antisocial, I hate people. Don't say anything like that, right? The common tactic with this question is to write a strength, but word it as a weakness. Like, oh, I usually am such a perfectionist with my work that I'll give up all of my spare time to make sure it gets done at the cost of my own family. That's the kind of thing you have to say, right? So this is a dumb question because if you answer the question honestly like saying oh I'm late all the time No one admires your honesty, you're just gonna not get the job So don't ask the question then Because if you ask me what's a weakness and I honour your question by answering it I'm, I've lost the job So what makes you want to work at this company? To be perfectly honest with you mate do not care. I'm completely indifferent. Don't care. I just as well work for your prime competitor. Your job came up first. I get up. So why have you decided to leave your current job? Because I'm underpaid and my boss is a d Again, this is one of those things where if you're honest, you lose the job straight away. Oh, because it's unprofessional. But that's real. I deserve more money and my boss is a who can't relate to that? Even the guy interviewing me will be thinking, Oh mate, mate, I feel you mate. But no, you lose the job. So tell me a little bit about yourself. I never know what to say when they ask you this. Uh, I like Doritos. I'm good at Modern Warfare 2. And I'm a crack addict. Gets what are your hobbies? If I'm honest, I haven't got any hobbies. What are my hobbies? Nothing, man. I just sit around on my laptop. I play video games. I'll go on the internet to watch other idiots play video games and... Nothing! I have no hobbies. They want to hear culture shit like, Oh, in my spare time, I play guitar. I've no idea why they want to hear this. Playing guitar does not make you more worthy of employment unless it's a rock band. If I asked your co-workers about you, what would they say? Ask them! Why would you ask me that question, you idiot? In the application, you specifically asked for references, and I provided them. Right, what would my co-workers say about me? Probably not the nicest things you'd ever hear, to be perfectly honest with you. But I'm not going to tell you that. I've learned my lesson after not lying for the other questions. So I'm going to lie to you. Right, so what do you know about our organisation? That you've got a job going. Right, so after they've asked all of their questions, you'll get asked Right, that's it from us. Have you got any questions? Right, when they ask this, you're supposed to have some questions ready And if you don't, it's looked down on So you have to ask a question 
But your question, okay, the only thing that you might actually want to ask him is, mate, what's the salary? He said negotiable. What number is that? You're supposed to have a question ready. Except that one, you can't ask that one. But well, realistically, that's all I care about. So when you're asking, do I have any other questions? No, there's nothing else I care about. But that's looked down on. You have to ask some dumb shit like, what's the ethos like here at this company? I don't care. But you have to ask that because it shows you've got an interest in the company. Mate, I've got an interest in money. Right, and the worst part is, at the end of it all, you could have been bloody amazing. But the job goes to this soul because he's good mates with someone who already works there. Fantastic. Alright, but that's all you need to know. If you take all of this advice, you'll definitely get a job. Well, maybe not.